What is up everybody, Ecrigs Outdoors here, and how are y'all doing? It has been a long time since I've seen you guys, or since I can't see you, you guys have seen me. But, I am finally at the lake. I just made it up to uh, Lake Erie. Um, I am staying here the whole week for vacation. Gonna be doing some walleye fishing. It's just me and my brother and my dad, so we're having just kind of like a bros time up here and we're going to be doing some fishing. But I have not seen you guys in a while and I wanted to let you guys know where I'm at. I'm going to try to make this into a kind of video series here, I think. If you're watching this, you know, it's either going to be one video or a video series. Probably be a couple videos because if it was one, it would be pretty long. But I am up here and I'm going to have a great time. I'm so happy I get to have this week off. Got all my rods here. I think I'm going to do some catfishing tonight. I'm going to try to film that. It might be kind of dark though. I haven't been filming it as much because I've been focusing more on Instagram, part of Ecrigs Outdoors. But while I'm up here, might as well start making videos. I'm going to try to make weekly videos now. I know I've said that I'm going to try to you know make more videos, but I need to start making them weekly here. But it's only been like a week or two since I made a video, so it's not been that long. But I'm sorry if you guys missed me. But I am up on Lake Erie right now at my family house. And I think I'm going to go walk down to the beach area here. It's kind of rough today. And see if maybe we can catch something. Who knows? Maybe we'll take you guys with us. And maybe we'll even get to ride this bad boy right here. I think it's broken, but can you guys picture me on this six scooter right here? Check that out. Alright guys, so that's all I have for you for this introduction. I've ran out of things to say. I'm pretty anxious to get fishing, so let's go do it. Alright guys, so we're all rigged up here. Gonna try to get some bluegill or crappie or something. I have not done that much pan fishing, so this is about the best thing I could find. If I had like some night crawlers or something, I'd go with that. But I'm just going to go with this little guy right now. And I'm going to put a little trout nugget on it. I've seen these used before. Can't remember where, but I, th I think I've seen them used before. It's about the best thing I have, so they're tasty and smelly. So I hope they want it. I can even get her on here. Pink trout nugget. There we go. Hopefully they want her. We're gonna go try to catch some fish. A little bluegill down here or something. If you guys think this is a good setup right here, because I'm not very experienced pan fisher, pan fisherman, leave a comment below. Let's go catch them. Alright guys, so here's the lake. There's our house back there by the silver truck. So we just live a little bit down. Uh, we, you'll see to the right here, once I get up here, it's where we keep the boat at, my uncle's boat. And he just got a new one. He doesn't have it up here yet though. But we usually catfish up here, if you guys can see that. We catfish up off these that little kind of outcrop there. It's a little windy right now, so I don't know how we're gonna do. Let's see if there's anything by these decks here. You guys see there? It's a little windy right now, but this is where we catfish off of. That little kind of outcrop out there. It's very windy right now. I don't know if there's even any fish in here. There's fish everywhere though, so. Hopefully. Here's a view of the bay here guys, not too many uh, boats out there, it's so choppy. It's 
real choppy and windy, like Chicago. This looks a little more promising here, guys. I don't know if I'm allowed to fish here or not, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. like a dream house there. So, like I was saying guys, we did not catch anything. I do think there was fish back there though because I could see little bay fish and I saw a couple fish come up to the surface. I just don't think they wanted this little rooster tail. The trout nugget on her. Little nugget. But, you know, we may come back here a different day if we can find some night crawlers or something. But I'm going to end this part of the video right now. And I think the next time you guys see me, I will be catfishing. So I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, what's up? It's a few hours later now. And we're about to go catfishing. I got three rods rigged up here. All I did was I took a couple swivels and I put an egg sinker above them. And then I put about 18 inches of line down to a big, big river bait hook. So that's all I did. I get most of my um, catfishing, like rigging tactics, off of a channel card, Catfishing Cart. I'll link them down in the description, so check them out. Alright guys, here we are at the uh, spot. We cast right into here or over here and catch up, hopefully, a bunch of them. We caught a decent amount last time. Sorry if the audio is bad, we have a little road right here. But we'll be using night crawlers on those rigs I showed you guys. So we're going to get it, the night crawlers on there and get fishing. Right there. Got one. Got one? First one of the day, guys. Get a picture again? I have a video. Get it. Get it that. Oh, we'll just grab him. I have pliers. Oh, you don't need a glove. Oh, nice one. First one right there. Old Bessie right there. Where are you grabbing? Can I go up here, right? You can go there too, man. Push him up. There she is, number Lip one. Shot. Lip shot. Decent one right there. These are channel cats, right? Better those spines up there. It's a nice one. Take the pick. I like how they talk. Don't you want to hold it? What do you do? Hold like that. I can't take it. Let Dad take it. I probably shouldn't have worn khakis for this. I, I don't know how to take it in. Okay, just go to the camera. Which is where? Camera. Oh, Andrew, didn't have what are you doing? Grab him. Push him in. Push him in. Here. 
All right, there she goes. All right, guys, so that's it. We're leaving now. We uh, didn't catch it. Well, we caught that first one. And that's it. We had a few more bites. But other than that, we just got snagged like three times. It kind of sucked. But it was really pretty night. Nice night. But that is the end of day one in Marblehead. Hope you guys liked the first vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Always remember, fish on, hunt on. God bless.